Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Dauntless. So it's been a little while since our last play, but since then, we have an exciting new update, the Evolving Wilds update, which is basically a precursor to the update that's coming out later this month that's going to actually make the game free to play. So if you've been waiting to dive into Dauntless for, you know, the whole open beta thing, your wait is almost over. But anyway, let's, uh... Let's not waste too much time here just chatting and let's uh, go right on in and actually start uh, hunting and stuff and doing all those cool things that we generally like to do. Alrighty then, and so begins the hunt. And also of interest, I've noticed that they've, unless I like seriously forgot, which I don't think I did, they've changed up the key bindings or, uh, well, just the, the control bindings for controller play. And it's actually considerably smoother now, so I, I like that. There's not a second to lose. Pick up the pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. You know, it's good to be back. I mean, uh, our inventory has been wiped. We have to start over, like, pretty much from the beginning. But honestly, that's can provide you a boost of energy. quite right. That's not too bad. Plus, I mean... I don't know, there's something a little crisper, a little more, uh, like, a little more present or there or something. But, oh, I really thought that was actually a flower I could grab for a second there, but I was mistaken. So, you know, pay me no mind. The game really does feel beautiful, though, doesn't it? Also, we've got our noob, uh, our noob, uh, thingamajig here. So we can, uh, track the behemoth, which is... Somewhere. Somewhere around here. I love these. I love just, like, the ability to get across the terrain considerably faster and easier than before. I mean, not that it was, like, terribly, terribly difficult before. Oh, you guys, uh, can't be harvested anymore, huh? Well, how am I going to get my Afer hooves? How indeed. Also, I'm kind of wondering to myself if it was a mistake doing this, like, beginner rookie hunt by myself. But then again, I didn't want to wait around for, you know, if anyone was going to join me. I figured, I mean, we've fought these fellows before. We know what we're doing. Probably. All right, now this is early in the game, so it doesn't matter too terribly much if we unlock or if we, like, break off the different parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banks dead. Oh my god, the trees actually break now. I knew that that was a thing that was coming. I just didn't realize it was here already. Whoa, Sunny Jim. You know, I like the fact that these low-level guys, like, take 10,000 years to, uh, you know, to, like, telegraph their attacks. Very nice for, you know, us noobage people. I mean, I'm basically a perpetual noob, really. I mean... Whoa, Sunny. I would never at any point say I'm a professional, oh dear. Or even a, uh, you know, a, of mild skill. I also like the fact that as far as I can tell, getting hit no longer is like a... It's no longer a guarantee that you, uh, you don't, like, you don't l just lose. Uh, excuse me, good sir. You don't just lose all of your stamina. Oh, I broke him. But I don't actually get any parts, because we're, you know, too low. We don't have the, uh, the gear for it, do we? Ho ho! Whoa, Sunny Jim. To be honest, I'm actually kind of wondering if maybe I should do some heavy hits. There we go. Chop them legs off. I mean, it's... It's all pretty straightforward. I mean, I missed them completely, so I feel kind of dumb about that, but... Having said that... Whoop. Oh, I know your old technique's good, sir. Also, gonna harvest a flower there while we've got the time. Ooh, sweet, he's actually kind of stunned here. 
Whoa. There we go. Jolly good, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Go down, son. Go down. I mean, he is going down. But he is definitely not my son, that's for sure. Oh, dear. Ho, ho. Ow. All right, dog. I mean, he's got to be... He's got to be almost ready to die, right? Right? Maybe? That could be a thing. Wozers. My goodness, sir. You are easy. But then again, that's obviously because you're very noob-friendly, aren't you? Just giving him a proctology exam here. Very important for young male uh, strikes. Yeah, you better run. All right. Anyway, so with all that uh, cheekiness in mind, let us continue harvesting up the old sky blooms. Any of these white flowers harvestable? Pretty sure the answer is no. All right, let's see. Which direction did he really go off in? Uh, somewhere over there. Yes, I can. I, I love the fact that, like, the environment actually gets damaged. I kind of miss the days when I could hide behind a tree in order to defend myself, but, uh... On the whole, I would say that it's, it's better for the game long-term that such, uh... Such things don't actually exist, right? I mean... I mean, having ways to be able to hide and cheese enemies is okay, but, uh... As long as there's, like, a trade-off, I guess, between, like, the cheese and the non-cheese. Or, like, if cheesing, like, I don't know. Like, I figure if there's, like, a way to cheese an enemy, it should be, be like, something that takes more time, but guarantees safety. Thus, leaving you with, you know, a, a choice on your hands. Do you take the easy way, or do you take the hard but more satisfying way. Now, where are you going, dog? All right, let me just chop your leg off here. Yeah, don't do that. I mean, he's doing it whether I like it or not, but... Uh... Oh, he's, he's winding up. And despite telegraphing that attack... I mean... Painfully obvious. I still got hit. Pretty embarrassing. Whip his leg off! Give him the chair! Really should have ruled on that. There we go. Might just be me, but it feels like it takes a little longer to, um... To, uh, build up our charge here. Then again... That's probably... Probably because I'm playing with, uh... Yeah. Playing with the old, uh, sword here, as opposed to the spear we used to use so often. Though, so, since we do have a reset, and there's gonna be one more reset once, uh, the game hits the open beta, I think, perhaps, what we're gonna wanna do is, like, we'll, we'll main one weapon, now, and then we'll, like, main another weapon again when, uh, the open beta happens. And then, of course, after that, we'll just eventually unlock everything and then just be awesome at every single weapon, probably. Well, probably not, but you know what I'm saying. Alright, I think we've got time for one more fight, so... I will- I think I'll cut straight to the fight. We'll- we'll leave, like, the actual questy stuff for the next, um... When the open beta hits. If, if you guys want me to show that stuff at all, or if you'd rather me just show the fighting. Whichever is good. Alrighty then, and so the hunt begins. This time though, it looks like we've got a friend with us, so... That should hopefully make, uh... Make things ever so much easier, since... You know, we'll have someone dealing a little bit of extra damage and 
generally helping out and also more or less covering up my general ineptitude at most things, so that's a plus. G g give me the ether, damn it. I don't get the ether sometimes. I feel like sometimes I'm able to walk by it and I just like suck it up, but other times like wants to be real specific on my placement before it'll let me pick it up. Also, I just noticed, might have been here for a while, but there's like actual like islandy music, like, or at least like it's more noticeable than it was before, you know, is pretty cool. Don't fall off the ledge. Well, that was fortunate. Oh, and there's our, there's our friendo. Oh, hell, he actually immediately aggroed on us. That's, uh, I'll admit mildly concerning. All right, let's, uh, okay, so the aggro is on me, which is probably for the best, because then Perks can, uh, Perks can deal the actual damage, and I will take all the beating. Which is the perfect strategy, really. Alrighty then. Now, yeah, we've got our like horse cat lizard thing. It's a combination. It's a combination critter. The best kind of critter, really. A combination of beautiful and ugly, and ugly and beautiful. Alright, don't do too many rolls or those. Uh, you get kind of stun locked there if you let him hit you. He'll let him hit you while he's like charging, and then when he comes back around the other way. But you gotta keep an eyeball on that. Whoa, boy. I again wanna just emphasize how I really like the fact that like these things can break trees and stuff now. Like, sure, it means we can't cheese enemies anymore and stuff, but uh. It, uh, it does add a bit of extra. Oh dear. A little extra something something requires a little additional strategizing, doesn't it? Which is never a bad thing. You no, know, I'm looking here and I'm thinking to myself, you know, Gaslight, maybe you should have had the chain blades too, because they do seem to have some pretty good... Oh god! It was hovering in midair for a second there. That's some pretty good jumping skill, actually. I mean, if I can literally defy the laws of gravity when I jump in the sky. All right. You know, I'd say overall we've got a good thing going here. Ah, oh, you missed. Stupid Embermain, lizard, horse, cat, bat, rat. Whatever it is you are exactly. All I know is that you are probably gonna be dead soon and that breaking your various body parts doesn't really matter too much at this particular phase of the game. Okay. Get a little heavy shot in there. Nicely done. Anyway. But, I also, I kind of like to imagine that, um, like, seeing breakable environments and the fact that, uh, like, it's what the players want and it seems to be definitely what the developers want as well. It's, like, more interactable environments, presumably, that means we're also gonna get, oh, he said hi. Hi. Important to reply back. I don't know exactly when he said, hey, uh, but it's important to reply to people. Be, uh, be kind, Tuffers, and I, I kind of want to take that horn with me and mount it on my wall now. I mean, after all, it's a known fact that the Ember Main horn is a one of the most potent aphrodisiacs, second only to the human horn. But that's besides the point. But anyway, getting back to what we were talking about just a second ago about uh, interactable environments and the like. Geronimo! I, I really hope we uh, see, like, um, more interact, like, not just with, like, the environment, like, interactions between the behemoth and the environment and us, the player, but also. Uh, more interactions with, um, like, uh, if we, like, if we cut off a leg, you know, like, it starts limping or something, like, and it gets, like, slower. Or if we, um, out, if we, like, remove the horn, then, you know, maybe it doesn't get, like, as, as potent, uh, horn attacks or whatever. Or maybe, like, taking off some body parts 
it makes, uh, you know, makes the behemoth easier in some ways, but then makes it harder in others. Like, say, you know, you remove a certain part and it, it makes the behemoth, uh, behemoth, behemoth, maybe makes it, like, do less damage, but, like, it becomes faster, or maybe it becomes slower, but it does more damage, or, you know, just stuff like that. I really hope we get to see cool interactions like that. And I'm sure we will, because it does sound like it's in the developer's, uh, like it's on their to-do list to like just have general more interactions with pretty much everything like one way or the other so it's exciting times really and one more oh, okay never mind we don't get the one more Wozers. but we're doing okay and i like that okay is good enough adequate is just fine Actually, that's not true. I'll be honest with you. Like, I may give off the impression sometimes that I do like a really half-assed job with everything in my life. But, there is a certain part of me that's like a, a ridiculously obsessive perfectionist and can never be happy unless things are just so. Uh, just so often being like a level that can never be reached. So. Oh my god, he's dead. Well, we'll cheer for that come on I mean since the uh the uh, cheer the my usual cheer animation is uh the mug is missing right now I'm like doing a be of good cheer and I don't actually have a mug that was like my signature thing so I I hope that gets you know uh fixed up at some point it's good it's like it's not like the end of the world it's just you know my previously mentioned obsessive perfectionism Demands that I get that mug so that I can like wrap up episodes with the whole be of good cheer thing Anyway with that in mind, I'm gonna wrap this episode up. So until the next time as always Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video